is Sherelle Miles. I'm a student at Southeast Raleigh Magna High School, and I'm interviewing Alvina McCallum at Wake County Human Services, and I'm doing my senior project on how social workers impact foster children. What issues do you have with adoption? I think some of the issues that I have is there's a lot of children to be adopted, um, and Probably the process is kind of lengthy. Once a parent's parental rights have been terminated, it's, it's sometimes a lengthy process for the adoption to be finalized. Do you have good relationships with some of the foster parents? I have great relationships with my foster parents. I would say pretty much all of them on my caseload. I have about uh, 35 foster families on my caseload, and I do have a good relationship with all of them because I do provide support with them. Um, I go to their home more often than the policy, what, what is required in the policy, I do home visits more frequent. Um, I let them know they can contact me if they're having difficulties with anything to build that rapport because if I have a good rapport with the families, then I know they're gonna take care of my kids. And I call all the foster children my kids. So if I take care of them, they're taking care of the kids and if I'm supporting them. So I would say I do have a great relationship with all of them. What do you hope to accomplish as a social worker? Hmm. I think one of the things, first of all, which is very important for me, is to be able to sleep at night. So what I mean by that is, as a social worker, I never want to forget to empathize with what the children or families go through I never want to become desensitized where I don't feel certain things. Like, yes, it's my job, but when there's something that happens that maybe is out of the norm, I want to make sure that I'm not desensitized, I don't, I don't have emotions behind that. Now, I'm not going to sit there and cry in front of the family, but we use each other, my teammates, my colleagues, to kind of vent and share, and also a supervisor to share with that information, but never to become desensitized where you don't care about the children and the family. What characterizes this social worker from your point of view? I think a social worker needs to, needs to empathize, be available to families. Um, when we're wrong and we don't know, to say we don't know or we're wrong because we're human. And really to be supportive, to be supportive. If you're supportive with your foster parents, you're supporting them, whether it's a child that's coming in the home that we don't know anything about, it's supporting the, the foster family when children are reunified, which that's the goal, to go back to their family. So, you know, providing that support and being a liaison to do shared parenting with that biological family. And also being supportive when children do go home, it is kind of like going through grief and loss of losing that child, especially when it's, it's some families that have had these kids for a while and they have a bond with these kids. They kind of go through a grief like a death sometime when the kids go back home. So really just being supportive. Think of an aggressive, angry client from the past. How did you deal with the situation? Hmm. I had a lot. <laughs> Let me pick one. Okay. Um, I would think with one that comes to mind, I was in a school meeting with the biological parent and her son, and the parent was in the school meeting and she was not appropriate and was getting loud. And I basically had to reel her back in and not allow her to control the meeting or to have that much control over the meeting. Um, so I think there's a balance of learning to let the, bio, whether it's the biological parent you're dealing with or the foster parent or the children to be heard, but you also have to have boundaries and respect goes both ways and building that rapport, um, but not to lose control of your case and lose control of the situation, but to stay in control but still be professional. Um, so with that particular case, when we were in the school meeting, she was inappropriate, and I had to just let her know that we could discuss this after, but now is not the time nor the place. So I want her to know that what she was saying, I, I, I'm willing to listen, but there's a time and place for certain things and that was not the, the time and place.
Thank you, Miss Irene. It was nice speaking with you, and I'm hoping you get to talk again. You're welcome. If there's anything that you need going forward, don't hesitate to give me a call. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.